Welcome back to Unite Star Pro Coaching. In this tutorial, we are going to learn the analysis of a simply supported beam, which is subjected to an eccentric point load, and a UDL over some part of beam. Let us consider a beam of span 6 meter which is simply supported at both the ends. And it is carrying an eccentric point load of 50 kN at a distance of 2 meter from point A and a UDL of 30 kN per meter over span of 3 meter on right half part of the beam. You already know how to calculate the shear force and bending moment diagram, manually. Therefore, I will directly analyze this beam on Start Pro. So, let's analyze the beam using Start Pro software. First of all, open the Start Pro by clicking on this icon which you can see on your desktop after the installation of Start Pro. Next thing to do is, click on the new project and take on space. Enter the file name you want to give to your model. I will put it as, Tutorial 3. Now give the location where you want to save your project. I have created a folder called Tutorial 3, in D drive and I am giving this path. You can give any path you want and click OK. Select length unit as meter and force unit as kilo newton, click next, and click finish. Let the start pro generate your model with these default settings. There are different views available here, as I discussed in my previous videos. So, to draw a beam, directly select the front view. That is view from positive Z direction. Now, Go to Geometry. In the previous videos, I have told you, how to draw a beam using coordinate system. Now, I will tell you, how to create a beam using grid system directly. After clicking on Geometry, this window will open. Click on Edit. And make this value as 1 from 10, as there is only a single beam of 6 meter span in the X direction. Now, Enter the spacing as 6 meters similarly, make this value as 0 from 10, as there is no vertical beam to be drawn. Click on OK. Now, click on this node, and then, click on this node. And close this window. See your beam is directly drawn. With this, our modeling part is over. Now, go to General, go to Support, click on Create, click on Pinned, and then Add. Select Support 2. Select the nodes, where you want to give this support. Click Assign to selected nodes. Click Assign, yes. Next part is to give loading. For that, go to Load and Definition, click Load Case Details, click Add. Select the load type as None, and give any load title. I will keep it as Load Case 1. Now, click Add, Close. Click on Load Case 1, and click on Add. For the UDL, click Member Load, and select Uniform Force, take W1 as minus 30 kN per meter. The negative sign is because, the load is acting in downward direction. And D1 is equal to 3, D2 is equal to 6, and D3 is equal to 0. Here, D1 is the point, from where UDL is starting. D2 is the point, at which UDL is finishing, and D3 is the starting point of the beam. Now, select direction as global Y, that is GY, and click Add. For the point load, click Member Load, and select Concentrated Force, take P as minus 50. The negative sign is because, the load is acting in downward direction. And D1 is equal to 2, and D2 is equal to 0. Distance D1 is the distance from start point of the beam, and D2 is the starting point of the beam, from where your beam is starting. Now, select direction as global Y, that is GY, and click Add, and Close. As I have said in my previous videos, it's showing question mark here, because, we have not yet assigned these loads to the beam. Select this uniform force, select beam, click on assign to selected beams, assign, yes. Similarly, select this. 
concentrated load. The beam is already selected. So directly click on assign to selected beams. Assign. Yes. To scale the loading, click on the symbol over here. The last part before analysis is to assume some suitable section for the beam. For that, go to property, click on define, select rectangle, select material as concrete. I am assuming the section as 0.23 meter by 0.38 meter. You can assume any standard size you want. Click add, close. Select this section, select beam, click assign to selected beams, assign, and yes. Now, our beam is ready to analyze. Go to commands, analysis, perform analysis, no print, ok. Click on analyze, run analysis, and click save. Wait for the beam to analyze. It may take some time to analyze, depending upon your computer speed. After the analysis, check for the errors. See, there are no errors, therefore our analysis is correct. Go to post processing mode, click done, apply, ok. First, we will check the deflection of beam. The deflection symbol is already on here. So, directly go to results, view value. Beam results, take on maximum resultant displacement. Click on annotate, close. See it's showing the value of deflection directly on the diagram itself. The deflection of beam is 19.411 mm. You may also check this value in this table here. Click on maximum relative displacements. See? The deflection in y direction is 19.411 mm. You may also check deflection values at different points in the beam. For that, click on all relative displacements. See, there are different deflection values here. Next part is to check shear force and bending moment values. For that, click on beam, click on maximum bending moment in table. See. The maximum bending moment in the beam is 117.5 kN meter. Similarly, to check maximum shear forces, click on maximum shear forces in table. The maximum negative shear force is 84.167 kN and maximum positive shear force is 55.833 kN. To know values of shear force and bending moment at different points in the beam, click on all. See, there are different values of shear force and bending moment is available. In this way, you can analyze a simply supported beam with an eccentric point load and a UDL over some part of beam using Start Pro. Thanks for watching this video. Please like. Share and subscribe for more Star Pro tutorial videos. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask. And comment your doubts in the comments section below. Thank you.